Wayne from Furnace Doctors here. I just thought I'd do a video today uh, showing what a head, the, the inside part of a Mitsubishi ductless system looks like. Uh, this would be what would go on your wall. It's roughly about 31 inches wide, about 12 inches up and down, and it goes about 12 inches from the top of your, uh, from the ceiling. Uh, one of the things, People are saying, well, this is great, I hear about it, but what's it actually look like? So I wanted to bring this to your uh, attention. This is one of a couple different styles. They have a GL, soon to be GS. Um, they also have an FS. The nice thing about the FS system, which is not what this one is, has a little infrared eye down here. So when these open up, it actually can send the air to where it senses the heat or the cooling need. But the air comes out of here, these close up when the air is not going, they open up as you as needed. One of the other things that is nice about this is it's easy to clean. Uh, one of the, you take off the front cover, if I can get this off right here, it really is easier if it's on the wall. But you open it up and inside there, there's a screen that you can pull out. And as you pull those out, like so, you can clean those and vacuum off and put them back in. And that's sort of like your furnace filter. You just clean that, except instead of buying new ones, you can just go ahead and replace those and close it up. If you're looking back, you wonder, well, how does this fit on the wall? There is a brace that you put this on, sort of like a a lot of other things, a metal piece, but this is where the refrigerant comes in behind, like here. And that's what you would see like going to your air conditioner if you had a system outside that will go into the uh, coil that's above your furnace. This is the drain tube, so that it drains back to the unit and then out from there, and that's the unit that's outside. So that is what the back of it looks like. So. This would go on the wall. Uh, normally you put it on an outside wall. You can put it on a inside wall, but then you would need something on the side here that would cover up these pipes that would go out to the side. Not as common, but can be done. So you turn around, this around again. This is what you would see on the wall. So they don't need a lot of room. They're very quiet. This is a model that I have here. I have not hooked up the electricity yet, otherwise I will turn it on for you to see what you exactly you do not hear. But again, this is a Mitsubishi unit. Uh, now is the best time, uh, $2,000 in Excel rebate, utility rebate uh, up to $2,000 for a federal 25C uh, tax credit. Uh, it is important you do have to buy the hyperheat or you do have to buy certain models but it's not on all of them but it really takes the uh, price down when you consider you get four thousand dollars in either rebates or tax credits another great option people are putting them into garages uh, you have one room that is too hot or too cold and also we're putting them into homes that have uh, hot water heat that they want to get cooling in there that they've never had that option. Great way, the advantage is there too, you can take care of each room individually. So some like to have it cold, some people like to have it warm. Each one can control what they want. And there's many other options and nice uh, reasons to have these. If you'd like to learn more, it's our website, furnace-doctors.com or call us we would love to come out and visit you and show you the advantages of a Mitsubishi system. Have a great day.